The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the new media factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box Studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the show on this Thursday night. It is the 30th of May, 2013. My name is Mo. This is Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. This is episode 251, by the way, already for us. Phone number 478-7954. If you want to call us, get yourself on Skype, the Good Times podcast. You can text us, 0927-360-0485. You ask your love problem, life question, career, sex, whatever it may be, you just throw it out at us. I'm happy to announce we have a new prize sponsor today. Tonight, and this one is always cool. Uh, it's clickplay.ph. What they do is they give out three movies to all people who call the show. All you have to do is dial the phone number 478 7954. We say hello, you have a question, bam, three movies already from clickplay.ph. Plus, you get the chance to win the iPad mini from Globe. What a great fucking experience that must be. So, be part of our program. We got a lot of calls tonight ready to go, and we got a great guest that I'm really happy about. Being here, please welcome. He is uh, he, he's on G. He's from GMA. He's won their Starstruck, their most recent Starstruck, and seems like so far is the last Starstruck. Um, he's a all around really good guy. I like. I'm really excited about him being here, not just because of the celebrity that he is, because of the person that he is. It's hard to get guys. I, I've said this on the program. It's hard to get guys on this podcast. A, usually they're kind of scared, but B. It's when they're here, they're so goofy. Just re re revert to our recent episodes with guys like Sib or those two football players. I mean, it's fun and the energy is great, but a lot of the questions are, I mean, when the questions come in, they're like, oh, you know, fucking hey, pussy. You know, it, it's, it's, it, you can tell that what's what you're going to get when you get a guy on the show. And then there's guys like this, mature, eloquence, class. It's like they're always, they're always constantly wearing a suit. Please welcome Steven Silva on the program. What's oh, up, Steve? Oh, shucks, Mo. I'm, I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Thanks for inviting me out. But I mean it. I mean every word of it, man. You are, you are, uh, you're fun. I mean, it's not like you're a nerd or anything like that. I mean, you, you, you speak well, you carry yourself well, but you're also not like a dick. You know, you're not like, oh, this goofy ass shit. I, I mean, like, you know, that. you're, yeah, you're just, you're cool. I try to keep the dick like moments it. to a uh, minimal. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Um, Steve, yeah, so wait, wait, do, you, do you go also by Steve or, I mean, Steven is, is, is generally how it works or what's the deal? It's up to you, man. If you want to leave the N off, it's fine. Steve, Steven works for me. Okay. All right. What do they call you at home? Oh, my mom calls me anything. You, Steve, Steve-O, Steve, whatever. Okay. I got you. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Just, I, mean, I, want, I want to act like your brother here because I really, I really do like this guy, man. Oh, I like this guy. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> All right, Steve. -o. Listen, buddy. Uh, we're going to be taking calls. Uh, I, you, this is your first time here, so um, just to give you a little background, it's about anything, man. And uh, sometimes the questions can be, get really graphic. Sometimes they're really emotional. Sometimes they're okay. really goofy. I mean, it's just a variety of stuff. So let's get to it, and let's start right, with BB. BB, you are from Bacolod, and you're 20 years old. Welcome to the program, Steven Silva here. Hi, What's up? BB. BB? 
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, this no. is not a good sign when caller number one. We, we just tested BB. She sounded fine. BB! Uh, I don't know. Should we keep trying? Because I like his question. Incestuous gay sex. Meaning he boned a member of the family of the same sex. And I need to know if it's the brother. Because that, that would be so awesome. That's what I was BB? Saying. That's rare. BB, where you at? Sana, sana si kuya, no? Okay, we... we, we, we Oh, there we go. All right, BB. God damn it. All Hello? right, you're you're on the show. Yes, BB. What's up? No. Start talking. BB. BB. Ah, fuck it. You know what? We'll put BB on hold. Uh, Hoogie, if you don't mind, can you can you work on BB there? Make sure that he he gets on fine. Let's start with Messi then. Messi, you're on the show. Pasai, you are 29. What's going on? Oh my God! What the hell? We just Over tested two. all these people. They We're sound different. Like yeah. Man. Messi? Did we lose Messi too? Or is it us? Might be us. Oh, we lost our, oh, ah, never mind. Okay, talking. let's go to line three. Steve, you're, you're all of a sudden I build you up and you're bad luck. Steve, uh, you, let's go. To, let's go to line four and uh, talk to Alex. I mean, Alex, you're 25. You're in the gig. Welcome to the show. What's up? Hi. There Alex. we go. Hi, Alex. There we go. Alex. Oh, um, yeah. Should I see my what? question? Yeah, please. Go ahead. Um, I met this guy in Boracay because I just went he went there last weekend. And um, uh -oh. I wasn't sure if he was interested in me too. But um, we were um, exchanging, um, exchanging stares. And um, I, don't, I didn't know what to, what to do. But when I went to, to this um, um, place and... and I went away, and then when 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 I returned, he was no longer there. So, there, um, nothing happened. So, is there? That's it. To... Huh? That's it. Yeah. That is... Um, I was just. It's uh, Barakai. Yeah. It happens. Did you see me by chance? I was in Barakai last weekend. Maybe it was Steven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, wait. Hold on, uh, Alex. The, it, well, what, the reason why I say that's it, because generally the Barakai calls we take, it always ends up into something. I mean, you guys are acting like you were in a mall in Manila. I feel like when it's Barakai, it's kind of different. You just, it's a different kind of, there's no shyness in Barakai. People yeah, know when they go there. Anything. Something's going to happen. Yeah, something's <laughs> going to happen. That's right. When Barakai. So it's like, it's kind of weird. Like the stares and, and the long gazes and like, I think he's interested in me. That's like. That's high school cafeteria shit or malls and stuff like that. But I feel like Baraka has a, there's a different kind of courage in the oxygen or in the water or in the sand. That, And I'm not going to say the cliche, what happens in Baraka stays in Baraka, but there's that feel where, okay, we're here, meaning if you, if it's not, don't be bashful. Don't be timid in Baraka. You go out there and you attack like, a, like you're in a jungle and, and you're a hungry lion. You know, I mean, there are no lions in jungles, but, <laughs> but you, you get what I mean. You just, you know what? It's, it's carnage. Alex, I, I'm, I'm shocked that it just looks. I know. When with it, well, Alex, when you guys were exchanging stares, by any chance were you like in a two piece? Yes. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, maybe there's a reason behind that. You guys didn't. You yeah, guys didn't right. talk at any chance. He didn't come up to you and say hi. Um. Uh, I actually went to to say hi, but. Um, and we actually also talked, but um, um, he was with friends, and I was with friends too. Okay, well that's cool. You... I'll tell you this, Stephen. My, the, the, my my Barack. Okay, maybe I can maybe I can. Uh, I don't know relate to this, but but uh -huh. here you go. You got to hear my story, man. This is fucking great. Hold on, hold on, Alex. Right I, I, on. This is the greatest. This is one of the greatest opportunities missed of all time. I'm a loyal guy. Like when it comes to relationships, I'm extremely loyal, right? Okay. So I had a crush on this girl in New York. R okay. Remember, I live in the Philippines. I work on the Philippines. I'm on television. I'm on the radio yep. in the Philippines. But I had a crush on this girl who had a boyfriend who lived in New York. So she was taken and lived halfway across the planet, but I, my loyalty was to just the feeling of having a crush on her. So I was in Barakai, and there was this Brazilian commercial model and a regular model, uh, like commercial model. I mean, they're, they're, they're actually from a network too, but they're more known as commercial models than they are as actresses. And uh, 
they were in Barakai and they had that Barakai courage in them. You know, the, 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 the thing yeah. I was talking about where yeah, in Manila, Barakai you can't just swagger. go up to somebody and say, can I fuck you? you it, in Barakai, it's different. You go out and you really fuck them, right? So they asked me for a threesome. Brazilian model, commercial wow. model, television. They asked me for it. Like, they came out and said, hey, Lou, let's have a threesome like right now. And I said no because of my crush. Because of my faithfulness oh, to my crush. And I regret it every single day. <laughs> Worst thing I've ever done. Worst thing I didn't do. God man. damn it, man. It was right there. And, and man, this girl was, at least the Brazilian one, like boobs out to here and, and ass out to, I mean, it was just, she was so incredibly hot. And I, and, and she was like, Oh, I'm leaving. I'm going back to Brazil, uh, you know, in, in two weeks. And this is, you know, this is my last oh, chance to party hard. And, all, and I'm like, Oh, that's, Oh, and I gave it up. I mean, don't just like this girl. Still there, man. Brock, still there. Just like this girl. I gave up the opportunity. Okay, anyway, yeah. Alex, you want to know, is there a future for the both of you? No, if I should have acted on it. Or um, oh, what yeah. are the yes. signs for next time, if, I, if ever? And um, I just want to ask if, uh, if Stephen also experienced the same thing. Because um, as you said, he also went to Barakai. It might have been you, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, if I had any advice, I'd just say take, it, take it, uh, advantage of the opportunity. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt if you just say hi to someone. You never know what's going That's true. And, and, and Stephen, are you the type? I, mean, I don't know if you have a girlfriend or not. Uh, do you have a girlfriend or not? Uh, uh, right now, no, like, no, no. Okay, so if you were in Barakai, do you find yourself a little bit more adventurous, a little bit more go getter, because you in fact know that you're in Party Island? It's everything that lasts here is always short term, so you'd be more aggressive when it comes to finding girls. I mean, I just, I would, I think I would go, if there's an opportunity, you got to take advantage of it, you know. I don't necessarily say like, you know, okay, I'm in Barakai, my mindset's like, you know, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to attack anything I see. But like, if a, if a decent opportunity presents itself, why not, you know what I mean? With the whole totally. aura, with the whole aura of Bora being around you, you know, it's, it's just like, you know, having a good time. Yeah, you know what you're getting into. You're, going, you're getting into the party kind of vibe, and party vibe means casual encounters. Casual, whether it be whether it, whether it ends up in your hotel room or not. Most of the time, you know when you're there, it's it's for that weekend. Exactly. You might get their number, but it generally doesn't materialize after that. So, Alex, should you have acted upon it? I think yes. If you were in the city, maybe you should wait for him. But it, when you're in that environment, as he said, the aura and all of that stuff, man, it doesn't matter if you're a girl, boy, gay, just whatever, man. You it. just go. You just go for it. Just say hi. Just say hi. Do something. Or, or for the next five years, you're going to be talking about it on the radio and podcasting how you gave up the opportunity to have a threesome. <laughs> okay. All right? All right. So don't miss um, out on I just want to say that. Uh, we also stayed at the White House. Um, so, yeah, we did see um, Stephen and um, his friends. Oh, yeah, you should have said hi. I'm telling you. It you was Stephen. You should have said man. hi. I'm telling you. It was him. Was that I'm you? Were you, you playing you. volleyball over there? I think I saw you. Was that you, Alex? It's Frisbee. <laughs> oh, frisbee. it's Frisbee. All right. All right. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I think right. I saw some people say, uh, playing Frisbee. All right. Yeah, you should have said Thanks, hi. Thanks, Alex. Attack right, Alex. next time. When you smell blood, go for the kill. Especially in Bora. <laughs> yeah. But if you smell blood on a female, do not go for the kill. That's, that's nasty. That's a different you just have story. to wait a few more days. <laughs> yeah, just wait a few days. Yeah. All right, Alex. Thanks for the call, baby. Appreciate it. All right, let's try BB again because I want to know who in the family BB boned. BB, Bacolo 20, you're back. Let's try to work this one out. Good morning, love. Yes, good morning. Good All, right. All right. All right. Who did, who did, who did you have sex with in your family? Oh, funny, it's my cousin. Ooh, First cousin? cousin? Yeah. Huh, oh, yeah, all right. That's marginally <laughs> disgusting. Okay, so what's your question? Yeah, as I uh, told you uh, the last time, because uh, uh, I'm having sex with my cousin, but I tried not to you know, say. Oh god, the connection's so awful. BB, hold on one second. Your your connection is your parang mali. But you know, kasi parang kasi ang gusto ko mingi ng advice ko. Is there any other way na I could try to prevent it or stop it? Because uh, I really can't you know say hindi when it's there already. 
Are you guys having anal? Uh, no, I haven't experienced. <laughs> okay, so it's just blow, blow job, blow job. BB. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. BJ, BJ. Now, are you blowing him or is he blowing you? No, I'm the one who's blowing him. Okay, and he's a straight. He well, I mean, apparently he's gay. But was he always like a gay guy, or he was kind of straight until you blew him? No, he's straight uh, since like I'm ten years old. That was the first time uh, that you know the sex thing happened. Oh and, uh, my that, God! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going channel. from whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, because. There's a okay. Oh, okay. Because I was trying to have fun with this question. There might be an element of beyond incest here. That's that's alarming. How old is he? Please don't tell me he was like 19 and he made you blow him when you were 10. Oh no. Yeah. What's the age difference? Yeah, yeah. There's an age difference. Oh God. Okay. All of a sudden, this turned from funny. Cr- funny kind of crazy story oh, to second. criminal child molestation abuse. Wait, your, your assumption was correct, Mo. There's an yeah, he, you 10. were you were ten and he was like eighteen or nineteen when he asked you to blow him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what a dick. Okay, next time you're blowing him, stab him. <laughs> um, and and you're twenty <laughs> now, so he's like thirty, and he's yeah. still asking you to blow him. Oh, this is still going on. Yeah. 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 Oh my. Oh, how I, awful. No, uh, I think uh, it was six months ago. Six months ago was the last time you blew him. The last time uh, he asked me was six, uh, six months six ago. Six months ago. Okay, and and is he married six now because ago, he's yeah. thirty? Like, th- is he married? Does he have children? Uh, now he has a uh, one, uh, you know, a child, but uh, just uh, started his family, but not yet married. How old is his child? Oh, a few months, he said. Uh, I think, oh, uh, 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 one year old. Uh, one year, okay. Yeah, oh, What's, this guy's such trouble. Oh, oh my God, just he's still around. asking you to blow him. Okay, so what's the question here? Um, BB, I, I, obviously I want to kill this guy, but I, I want to know where your mind is at in all of this. <laughs> hey, yeah. BB. BB, wh- wh- where's your mind it's in this? Actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, since like, like a 10, I don't think it does not eight. I'm sorry. Take a moment. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, I just want to know. I, okay, God, this guy's, this guy's connection is so bad, yet the question is so damn good. Um... Hold on one second. I'm going to talk to Steven real quick. We're going to talk amongst okay. us. Just so I, I want you, I want to give you a break from your, from your connection problems, so it doesn't sound so bad. Okay, Steven, we got to kill this guy, right? First exactly, of all. man. This is horrible. Um, because it, it, it's see the problem is I, I worry that BB is like, oh, I can't say no because he's guapo and I, he's like my kuya and I like him and champre, you know, I want to do this and do that to him. But but but, but BB doesn't understand, man. At ten years old. You, you know, your your identity was compromised. Your your it's just being played. Man, yeah, your soul was compromised here. When you get like an eighteen, nineteen year old, ask you to give him a blowjob, yeah. and you're ten years old, and it continues then for ten years. That's called that's called rape. That's, that's called child abuse. That's called child molestation. That's manipulation. And he, it's it's, it's it's all of the most evil things that the world offers, all rolled into one. Yeah. And what worries and me is the that worst BB thing is here, who's family. These guys are right, yeah, exactly. And, and, and the thing here is BB thinks, like, I worry he thinks it's okay. Like, I think he thinks, oh, I'm weirded out because it's my cousin. Don't even be weirded about it if it's your cousin. Weirded out that you were fucking raped. Exactly, man. And then after this, he has a family. But what, what she said was uh, the kid's only a year old, and their last encounter was about six months ago. So even while he has his kid on board, that's he's right. still yeah. keeping so that- this going on. Right, and that so that screams sexual predator. That screams like just an awful, awful man. Someone okay, hold on, BB. I got a question. Are you in love with this guy? I no. That's why I'm okay, so, uh, really trying. That's why I'm really trying to stop it now or prevent now because I know in my mind that it's uh, wrong or 
something that's now why 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 can you resist it, Okay, let me ask you, why can't you resist when you're there? Like, he puts his, he pulls his dick out, and you're like, oh, like, why can't you resist? It's just like, uh, let's say, uh, in Tagalog, habang siya'y magusok, ako'y marupok. Habang Meaning... siya'y magusok, ako'y marupok. Okay, hold on, hold on one second. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, first of all, I, I want you to see a therapist. I, I want you to get some professional help because, you know, you, in fact, were molested. OK, uh, yeah. a, a, regardless of how you feel about it, I need you to know that you were molested as a child sexually. And there, we need to we need to fix that. OK, so that that's what we need to do. Number one. But I want to know the, the, with the interaction with you and your cousin at this point. I want to know where your mind is at when other guys that you know, who are not your, this guy, say your classmate or whatever, give sexual advances to you. Do you have sex with them also? Or you, you, you know how to uh, say no? Actually, I was, uh, exp- I mean, I experienced na he asked my classmates, but uh, ko yun. Yung parang, actually, hindi pa ako uh, doing sex with the other person. So wait, so she, you did you did do it once or twice before with your classmates? No, no, no. He, I, uh, no, he, I think there was an I mean, offer. There was an, there was an offer. Because okay. well, the point yeah. I'm trying to get to is I want to make sure BB is not at a point where he says yes to everybody. Exactly. So yes. the fact that he says no to the classmates, I mean, you have, you are capable of saying no, and that's great. But it also yeah. scares me even more because your cousin has such a stronghold on you, where for ten years. He can just sexually brutalize you and do whatever he wants. And then there's here, there's BB here, who from 10 years old to 20 years old is just, just there as a victim. Just hooked on him. Yeah, and 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 I I feel terrible for you. Okay, has it gotten any wilder aside from him just asking you for the occasional blowjob? Are there other kind of crazy situations you find yourself in with your cousin? Uh, no, just uh. Like he doesn't make you do any other crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, and kanyan. Parang yeah, ganon lang. Wala nang overwhelmed side. Ano naman? Okay. Wala naman. Only good right. job. Okay. So just exclusive towards your cousin. Yeah. No, because I don't want him. Then like, see, this is my worry. I don't want your cousin, who right now in my mind is the worst human being ever. Invite his friends over and go, hey, by the way, listen, my little cousin just blows everybody. Come on over, man. And then, you know, brings exactly. two of his friends, brings three of his friends over and is starting asking for a, like a community blowjob. Like, I'm terrified like that this guy. Right. I'm, I'm terrified that this guy's like this. OK, so it's it's just BB. All right, BB. Listen, um, you need to get away from this guy and not see him. Uh I, I, I don't know where I'm at about telling uh, – yeah, t- tell your parents. If you and your parents are close, tell your parents what happened. Um, Got to stay away from this guy. Just, I worry about the baby. I don't know what BB's involvement there was, is going to be in trying to make sure that the baby is not in that kind of environment. And then get some help for you, BB. Like, like you need some professional help to really unwire all of this crazy shit that this guy's done to you. Okay. All right. Because I'm really worrying how to. Because I'm. Dati pa naman parang ten years old. Parang admitted mo wala ako pa sa isip. But actually, uh, when I started on nineteen, uh, twenty, parang I wanted to stop it na kasi. Yeah, stop it. You should start. Of course you want to stop. You are 19 yeah. or 20. You're just starting your life. So you should put an end to that and put that behind you. And really, like Mo said, try to get some help. Yeah, this yeah. guy's brutal. Now, now even yeah. if you, you sound you sound great, BB. I mean, aside from the connection problem, you sound like, you know, you don't sound like you're stupid. You sound you sound put together well. Yeah, she sounds concerned. So, so, she sounds like she's trying to, you know, fix what's going on before and move forward. Right. And, and that's what makes me because like if you if you were if you sounded like a dumbass, then I'd be like, oh my god, this is gonna be tough. But you don't. I mean, you actually sound put together well. So you yeah. just gotta work out this issue that happened to you when you were ten with with a professional, you know, therapist, yeah. counselor, something like that. Okay, yeah. please, please, yes. baby, please take care and of then, yourself, BB. And, 
Yeah, and stay away yes. from this guy, man. Exactly. Thanks, Mo. Thanks, Steven. You're welcome, BB. All right. Bye bye. All right. So we're back to Messi. <laughs> uh, well, Messi's got a pretty good question, too. I think we should take a break. Let's take a commercial break, and All then right. we come back. We got Messi because uh, I feel like Messi isn't going to be a really long one as well. <laughs> Jeez. Boy, what do you do, man? Okay, I, I, okay. I said this the other. I said this the other day on the program. We all tend to have a crush sometimes on a cousin, right? I mean, because you know, <laughs> we grow up together with them. Yeah, you, you, we, we, we'll find one that we might have a slight crush on, but we won't. It, it rarely, rarely ever materializes. Because you come we'll to see, that like, point oh, yeah. where you realize you're like, wait a second, this is my cousin, right? <laughs> but because the thing is, cousins are like cousins are like family slash friends. Because yeah. you don't see them often. You see them every now and then, slash classmates, and you see them develop. You guys develop together sometimes. or You get what I mean? It's like... They're family, but they're not quite family. It's kind of a weird Right. Thing. So they're, they're not like your brother or your sister, and they're not like a long-distance relative. They're just in that in-between, so it's kind of... Right. Kind of leaves you in the And hanging. then it, you tend to then develop some sort of crush sometimes, and, and, and that's where I thought this guy was at. We're like, oh, yeah, I have a guapo pinta, and all of a sudden, yeah, so, you know, it ended up in a blowjob or whatever. I didn't know it was like this, though. Yeah, man. This Especially criminal. for, what is that, 10 years? He was just hanging on to Oh, that. my God. That's Ten the worst part. <laughs> okay, let's take a break. When we come back, we have Messi. Messi's got a great question. We've got uh, Vincent, also in Quezon City. We have Riff, who is in Las Piñas. we got a ton of calls from Isabella. Also, more of QC calls. A couple Manila as well. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe on the program tonight. Really nice guy. Glad he's here. Steven Silva. You can follow him on Twitter, at Steven Silva. Take a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Good All-Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga biglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Take a little sunshine Grab a little rainbow Mix in a smile Stay for a while Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new Sabrina's Kitchen, tables waiting for you Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline.
familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But, um, what's like? Have you played play Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth, and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not going to say Chubby Bunny. We're going to say, we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, okay, gonna ba. Okay. And you're going to be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm going to do two at a time. Okay, gonna ba. Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here on this Thursday night on the program, Stephen Silva from GMA. So you can follow him on uh, Twitter at Stephen Silva. You got a lot of followers there, Stephen. Um, you know, no, I mean, really, compared to the ABS group, the ABS kids, they've got Twitter followers like fucking mad. They got them I coming mean, out of everywhere, man. <laughs> oh, my God, man. That's because, like, you know, the TFCA is so strong. And, well, I mean, well, I guess ratings-wise, I, I mean, I don't follow it anymore, but GMA was always kind of right there, uh, if not above ABS in, go in my time. When I was there. From what I know, we yeah. just go back and forth, but the Twitter. Right, man. there's no huge discrepancy, like, there's no huge gap in ratings. But for some reason, when it comes to like social media, ABS dominates. They man. destroy, man. I can't. I, mean, I can't. I can't complain. It's, I mean, it's fucking they just it's destroy. Fucking nuts. I don't know what it is. You could be, you could be the guy walking in the background without one line in the entire show. Million but just followers. because you're on ABS, you got four hundred fifty thousand followers Million just because of that. I mean, it's really <laughs> wild. I mean, if you count followers, but but celebrities do, guys, girls, we all kind of count followers you, because you pay it, attention to it. You see it every now and then. Yeah, and it coordinates also to it, like it always kind of then makes. This is why we, and and you know when I say we like say celebrities quote unquote follow Twitter follows because it 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 connects to how much money we're gonna make for certain projects and stuff like that. Like yeah, yeah. we get paid to do to tweet about certain things, so it does mean a lot when you have a good chunk of followers. It does. It and helps. those ABS. <laughs> no, yeah, totally. It, it helps. It helps your, your market, shows man. and all the. Totally, I completely, especially more now than ever. And, and man, there's something in that ABS water that you, if you're an ABS, you get fucking followers <laughs> by the millions. Once you cross that line, millions. man, once you cross that line, you get all the followers. I don't know what it is. I, I, don't. <laughs> I don't know what it is either, Ed. It's nuts. Okay. All right. Anyway, phone number 478-7954. Uh, Skype is the Good Times Podcast. Text is 0927-360-0485. Speaking of Twitter, you want to follow the Twitter account of this show. It's at GTWM Podcast. Again, at Steven Silva, at DJ Mo Twister for myself. Let's take some more calls here. Let's talk to Messi, uh, who had a great question. Messi, you're 29 in Pasai. Welcome to the show. Steven Silva is here. What's up? What can we do for you? Yeah, good evening, guys. Good evening. Speak up a little bit, Messi, if you don't mind. I know you're on a Hello. cell phone, so we're gonna we're gonna Hello? we're gonna try our best here. Can connection you hear me? Yeah, you, you said, yeah. We see we hear you clearly. What's up? Okay, uh, I just got married last May 19th of this year. Congratulations! Oh, congrats! Yeah, yeah thanks. And uh, we've been together with my uh, wife since 2010. So we've decided na magpasal na. And okay. then, during the three-year re- relationship, uh, we didn't have any sexual um, intercourse. Whoa. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So saving for the so marriage. I res- I gotcha. I, yeah, I respected it since yun ang gusto niya. So sabi ko okay. And then after that, after the marriage, uh, so yun we we did it. And then after a few days, so mga three days siguro after the marriage. Uh, she confessed something na sinabi niya kung bakit hindi namin ginawa for the past uh, three years kasi nga daw um, ayaw niya akong mawala sa kanya. It's because sa family daw nila may possibility na hindi siya magkaanak. Oh. Okay. It okay. happened to her you know, it, okay. sister and her tita. But it's a okay, possibility. But, but, 
Yeah, it's a possibility, it's but not, not confirmed. Sure. It's not for sure. Um, dalawa sa sisters yung ganon eh. So, medyo kinabahan ako. But okay, time out one second. So, time out one second. Steven, uh, I'm going to talk to Steven real quick for, about about you. Uh, not telling your... Okay, now this is not 1920 or 1930 Britain where <laughs> if you don't tell something like... Like, if you can't have a child, it's, it's a great shame to the family. I mean, we're, we're no, past not. that. That's, yeah, that's not a problem at all. But you should tell your fiance that you in fact have the inability to give have children well we don't know yet it's the possibility right i don't we should also ask him later well, right but you, but that it. information should come out before you get in fact get married That's true. I, again most guys we're not gonna care maybe there are a couple old school throwbacks that are gonna be like what you mean my 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 family name you know i'm yeah. gonna say us newer younger guys steven myself mm-hmm. and and this you know the generation after us even not not that big of a deal if you can't have children. Well, I mean, if, in the if, end, if he's lo- if he loves this girl and everything, I mean, like, I don't think it's really a big thing. But the right. big thing here is she hasn't told him over these three years, and she's also used it as the excuse to like, you know, why they're not having exactly. sex. Exactly, that's why. Uh, I think, I think there's and, 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 there needs to be some clarification. No, and she even here. admitted. Yeah, and she even admitted after they got married, the reason why I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to go away. Now that we're locked in in marriage, you're yeah. stuck with me because there's no divorce. It, it's, it's diabolical. He's blackmailed. He got sucked in. Yeah, you got sucked in, Messi. But also, again, Messi, if I may reiterate, you don't seem to mind, though, right? Um, okay, lang sana eh, pero for the past three years, Mo, you've, you've trusted her. Um, yes. save, save it. For after the marriage and then boom right yeah it, it is it, there's a deception there but uh, again I'm banking on we're a new breed of guys that would like to have children mm-hmm. but if we can't it's not it's not you know it's not the end so Messi yeah, I, I have a feeling that you're gonna be fine with it right yeah I, I'm fine with it but um, after a week of marriage after you masabi yon di ba three days after the marriage um, here comes my ex of five years um, messaged me in Facebook uh, congratulated me na o oh, ganyan ganyan uh, at least uh, you've settled already and then um, we've exchanged um, direct messages and chatted for, for a few days and then oh. I added her in my Facebook I saw a, pic- okay. a picture of a kid. It's like a mini me. Oh. Okay. So your ex girlfriend. Like yeah, it's a uh, uh, ex girlfriend for five years. It was 2005. And then, uh, naghiwale kami. It's because um, her parents does not like me. Okay. okay. All right. And then so I didn't it, know. But, I didn't. I didn't know when the when they moved to to US. I didn't know na munti siya. Oh. Okay. Time out. One second. Did your ex girlfriend tell you that that was your baby? Um, I agreed with her. Tinawagan ko talaga siya. I I check I check the photos mula nung bat nung baby and then ngayon na three years old na yung yung bata. Hindi mo pagkakailama we kulay ko, mata ko. Okay, time out. But, see, but my friend, you are living in a world of non-confirmation. You're not con- you're not confirming really big yeah. parts of your after, life. Uh, after yeah. after noon, um May 29, she admitted na it was my kid. Okay, all right. There you go. Oh, Jeez. Right. I, I, I right need to get confirmation like your wife yeah. in fact can't have yeah, children, yeah. you know, you, get, so, you know what I mean. So, so right, right now um before yun, my wife and I are planning na magampun na lang ng kid okay. kung wala talaga right have you but told your wife question, that's the question right now Mo. that uh, she told me na hindi daw niya kakayanin if manalaman niya na nagkaroon ako ng anak on my uh, uh, exes so paano kung ngayon gusto kong kunin ngayon yung 3 year old kid ko well, I mean, okay. that, that's a whole different issue. No, that's a whole different issue yeah, taking, that, that, getting your kid because you, 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 know, you... Here's the thing, well, yeah. Um, I, medyo nagugulan ako ngayon eh. Um, I, love, I love my ex. And then ngayon uh, nga, nag-move on ako to marry this, this uh, girl. And then ngayon, so hindi ko alam na tatanda ako na walang anak, which is alam ko naman na meron, which is kailangan ko bang sabihin sa wife ko ngayon or or what? 
Oh, I think you got to tell her. <laughs> She's going to find right? out somehow or another. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, first of all, you have to tell her. It, yeah. it, you're right, Steven. It's how do you tell She's her? She's going to find out one way or another. Because that's, I, I that's your kid. That's your kid. That's your kid. I mean, I, I, I say do this. I'm, I'm telling you, I know, uh, for the past few days, until kanina, kachat ko yung ex ko, na hindi alam ng wife ko. Ah, so she doesn't know yet, your wife. She doesn't know yet. Yeah, 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 she doesn't so know yet. So it's it's hard to tell. Kung, kung nagkakasala na ba ako dahil dito or, or what. Kasi hindi ko na alam talaga kung anong gagawin ko eh. Pero yung ex mo, Messi, nasa States ba siya ngayon? Yes. Okay. And then they're planning to to have a vacation here by, uh, I think, September. Of this okay, okay, year. hold on real quick. So, so we can speed this up, Messi. What do you want? You want to A, tell your wife, and B, have your kid. Yes. Okay. The B have your kids going to be difficult because that's your ex and she's the mother and the kid stays with the mother, especially at that age, unless she wants to give it up or some other kind of weird circumstance. So you're not going to get the kid. You're not going to be able to take the kid. Yeah, we're good. We're good now with my ex now. And then she uh, said, uh, you can meet uh, your kid, your yeah, 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 no, no. Me, meeting and taking is uh, two different things. If she agrees to you having the kid, yes, because if she, if, okay, hold, hold on, one second. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, that, well, well, yeah, yeah. Let's let's take care of that then down the line. Let's just deal with then. You know, how do you tell your wife, Stephen? I'm I'm like this man. I would be like, uh, babe, remember that secret you withheld from me <laughs> during our. Engagement. It's really Yung malaking secret na sobrang mahalaga sa akin. You know, then all of a sudden it's a big deal for you, right? Yung sobrang mahalaga sa akin na Uh-oh. hindi mo sinabi na hindi tayo makakanak. Well, may secret din ako. <laughs> and then you Bowie. say yours. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's almost like do, do one to others. Like, I kept it from you because I knew you were keeping something from me. <laughs> You just kind of make it her fault. <laughs> um, I don't know if you do it like that, but... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, listen, you're, you're, okay, Steven's right. You're going to have to tell her how do you want to tell her. I, yeah. I just say I have a secret as well. You remember when you told me something? I have something to tell you. The reason why I didn't tell you is because you clearly said if you found out had a kid in another thing, you would get it. Well, I have a kid. I only found out recently. I haven't known for years. I just found out recently. But I want you to know that, in fact... There was something I was keeping from you in the short term. And you're my wife. I love you. You're the only person I love in my life. You're the only, you have to, a lot of reinsurance yes. here, Messi, that That's it doesn't change important. the way you feel about your wife. It just, oh, we lost. We'll, we'll get him back. We'll oh. get him back. It, it, it doesn't um, change how you feel about her, but it does change the dynamics of your life. Oh, exactly. I don't know. Anything else, Stephen? Is, is she oh, man, can Messi. Put? Well, I mean, the one thing that kind of I, I kind of caught on earlier. I don't know if he said it or if I if I heard him correctly. He said something about he still loves his ex, though. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, I don't that's know a if good he point. Heard that. Yeah, he shit, said something right. about that. So I don't know if there's still also he's like because he's also been talking to his ex while this has been going on, and I'm sure. I don't oh my know, god! You know, and if your wife finds out about that, I mean, oof, man, that's right cheating. after the marriage, she says congratulations, and then they go on this Facebook chat rampage for what? No, last? it's because yeah. naghiwale kami ng hindi namin gusto. You know, they forced you know. her to move okay. to the U.S. Okay. okay, you have to messy remove that. I still love my ex from your system. Yes, that because I you're think married I heard now. That earlier, yeah. yeah, you did it. That's correct. You got you're married now. You can't be yes. loving your ex. You got to erase that shit from you, Messi, immediately. Okay? Yes. Now tell your wife how you want to tell her. It's full of reassurance, full of love, full of, you know, this doesn't change anything between us, I hope. And this is what it is. And when you meet your son, you better take your wife with you. Yes, she should be present. Something you can't keep from her. That's for her. Yeah, that's the thing. Kung paano nga mo, kasi they're not in good terms. Nung nung ano eh, nung ex ko eh. Kasi uh, before the marriage, siya nabi ko kung sino yung mga ex ko. And then yun talaga yun taong uh, pinagsilos pinagsilos nya ng ano. Uh, ng may, so they oh know each God. other. Your your wife yes. and your ex know yes. each other. The yes. plot thickens. So ayaw niya makita. Ayaw si ayaw niya makita yung ayaw. taong yun. So, how will I do it na so sabihin ko sa wife ko ngayon <laughs> the na plot changes. Oh, sige, uh, I have I have a kid. Oh, sige, ito imimit natin siya. 
without telling her kung sino yung mother? Nah, hindi pwede. Okay, I'll tell you this, Messi. Okay, you, do you don't listen. How about this? You're fucked. Okay, L- accept them. <laughs> accept that you're fucked. Okay. Now, yeah. do you want to be super fucked or just no. medium sized <laughs> fucked? Like, do you want weapons grade fucked or do you want just kind of like sample size fuck? Fucked. Yeah, because because oh, God. <laughs> I, yeah, weapons there's... of mass destruction fucked is not telling your wife you're gonna meet up with your ex. So you can see, that's the worst thing you can do. I don't care what she, how she feels about your ex. If you hide it from her and you, fi- and you meet up with your ex and she finds out, your marriage is guaranteed done. Whoa. Done. Over. Whoa. And don't, don't think about you're going to get back with your ex because A, she's got a boyfriend and the family still probably hates you. So yeah. you're fucked because you have to tell your wife and your wife is going to be pissed. You're going to be even more fucked if you don't tell your wife you're meeting up with her. So you come clean, you come honest, you come 100%. You, this is it. I, there's nothing else. I've put all my cards on the table. I promise you, I only found out about this recently. I'll show you the, the date stamp of my Facebook messages when they came in. See, X said, oh, that's your kid. That came in on May 28th of 2013 at 7 p.m. So nalaman ko lang two days ago. I'm telling you right now because you're my wife. It's gonna hurt. You. It's gonna hurt, but you gotta yeah. do it. it make it, it hurt now it, rather than let it just go oh, on forever. Oh God, yeah, you're gonna let. The, the, yeah, as the days go by, the more pissed she's gonna be. Yeah, I, t- I, I tell you, man, do it, do it tomorrow because it's weekend. So she's yeah, not all I'm fucked up waiting. at work the next day. I'm just waiting for her to to come home uh, from the office, and then I'll talk. No, 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 no. Well, wait, it's a, no, no, no. Tell her tomorrow night, not tonight, because she's got uh, office tomorrow. She's gonna be all fucked up at work. Don't yeah, do that. Plan it out tomorrow plan it night, out, Messi. Plan it out very well. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. No problem. Good luck, man. Yeah. Remember, you're fucked, but you're not weapons grade fucked yet. Sucks to be me. <laughs> eh. Not some really. People, some you know people what? got it worse, man. Yeah, not really. You're all right. Did you hear the 10-year-old blowjump story right before you? I'd rather be you. All right, buddy. Thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Oh, Let's go to Lay, who's 15 years old. Lay, you're 15, line four. How are you, my love? Lay, line four? Hi, uh, yep. Hello. Hi, Lay. Oh, you're a dude. Oh, I got to wash my mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were... <laughs> oh, okay. He's got one of those Hi, Lay. names. Uh, hi, Mo. Yeah, I know. That was a very feminine name. You know, <laughs> like with Sam, Alex. You, sometimes you can never know. It could be a girl. It could be a boy. Fine. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go with my love. But Lay. Hi, Lay. Yep. What's going yep. on, sweetheart? <laughs> hey. <laughs> like, What's up, oh, Mo? Shit. What's up, brother? All right. You're 15. You're yep. in Manila. What's up? Um... My best friend wants me to fuck her girlfriend. Whoa! Your best friend wants you to fuck his girlfriend? Him yeah. or her? Um, Is your best friend a girl or a guy? Ma- huh? You said her. Your best friend's a guy. Your best friend's a guy, right? A guy, a guy, yeah. Okay, because you said okay. her. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, All right. Yeah. Just wanted to clarify. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's a good question. Yeah. My right. best friend still thinks I'm a virgin. Which uh, I am not. His friend? Para daw matanggal yung virgin dito ko. Well, are you? Virgin? Are you no, he's not. He's oh, he's not. Okay. No, no, he's not. Wow, what a great guy. <laughs> what a chum. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, that's awesome. Hey, why all right. You just give my girlfriend a try. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so, um, okay. What's your question? <laughs> exactly. I'm, sorry. Um, I'm shocked. Okay, you what, know, what's your question? Should I do it or not? No. No. Uh. Well, why would yeah, you want to no. do it? Because your friend thinks you're still a virgin, right? Yep. Um, actually, I do want to do it because her girlfriend, oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay, wait, time out. Did he just listen, do Dick. that? Did he yeah, just wait, do listen. That? Listen, dude, how do you know his girlfriend's going to want to fuck you? He's your best friend, man. Um, think about that. I'm Think about it. Um, but then again, he offered. Um, but That's true. I asked him. Sabi ko, bro, baka naman malaman kasi, di ba, hindi naman tayo mag-assize, hindi naman, ano, hindi naman tayo mag-assize ng, ano, ng dick. You mean, you mean, he's gonna want you to, like, what are you guys gonna get her drunk? And then, she's gonna think she's fucking her boyfriend, and then you come in and you bone her in the middle, like, you hide in the closet and switch out? I think so, that's what he wants. Pero ang sabi niya sa akin. Oh, oh my God. You found them out, you found out their plan. 
Oh man, the old switcheroo. <laughs> Lay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the old drunk. Listen, at fifteen, room. at fifteen, you probably do have the same size dick. Um, wow, you guys are <laughs> you guys are great, man. I can't I can't wait to see you as adults. This is just awesome. I mean, your best right. friend seems like a good guy, but oh man. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, here's my worry. Um, this guy, oh, my best worry. friend, friends <laughs> for years, and uh-huh. I don't know he's, he's my bro. He's yeah, I got you. To me. Yeah. Now, ang iniisip ko, is this a loyalty test? You know, I can kind of like a friendship test. Pag ginawa ko, uh, it, 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 you, that, that's a great question. You know, the, no, listen, for a 15-year-old to bring that up, that's a great, that's a great angle for you to think. Is this a test? I don't think a 15-year-old will test another 15-year-old's loyalty to them. It, they're, they're just not, they're not at that level yet. You know, I, the, if you guys are in fact as close as you say you are, and he's your brother and he's family, I think when he goes, hey, bro, you want to fuck my girlfriend? I think that's a legitimate no offer i really do. you 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 disagree steven you think he's just messing with him i i think that's kind of weird how long have you been best friends with this guy since they, grade school and since now we're school. up and coming um fourth year high school okay fourth year high school no i think it's a legit you think so? i think it's a legitimate offer yeah because you Why know what this guy is like their loyalty because, for that i don't he, no he's not testing out the loyalty he's in fact offering his girlfriend oh, it's, legitimately you're, you're coming over to the point like it's a legit offer like he's really like hey man oh yeah i, I love you you're my bro yeah so yeah, give yeah my girlfriend uh you know uh, <laughs> yeah, because he knows he's not gonna marry his girlfriend he knows this is just for high school and when he goes into college he's gonna be boning other girls okay, he knows okay. that so he's like listen i'm gonna go to college next year i'm gonna be fucking girls left and right eh, might as well yeah might you want to well take a stab yeah you want to take a stab at my girlfriend <laughs> No, no problem. I see, I see where you go. Hook you up, you know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay with this girl any longer. But but wait you know, a second, like, Lay. Lay. Cool so times. he's so I think part of the why he's doing this is because he still thinks you're a virgin, right? Yep, yep. Yes. But you're not. Hold you on, time out. Him. That's a great question. If you, know you guys were fucking best friends, how come he knows? How, how does, come he doesn't why does know, he not that know that you, this? you've had sex before? What? No. What, you, if you guys are such great friends, how come he doesn't know that you've had sex before? He doesn't believe me because I'm uh, I know, I'm like the nerd kind. Uh, I'm, I'm a nerd, but you know, I'm you not guys the nerd are best in the friends. Fine sense that you know, I stay up late reviewing for this test. No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. party, but you know, um, you party I with, study like, at the same time. <laughs> but you know, more emphasis on the studying thing more than the going out. Going what out a pal! Thing. That's good though. That's good though. I mean, what a pal! In about ten years, you're gonna be richer than your friends that have been partying like during high school. Oh, he, and he's gonna ask for money. He's like, remember when I let you fuck my girlfriend? Yeah, I'll give me a hundred thousand bucks. True. <laughs> the yeah. nerds. Okay, here's what it is. Get revenge. Here's what it is, man. Uh, Lay. Yep. If you're if his girlfriend wants you to have sex with her, then I say yes. Take the opportunity because why do why do you want to pass this up? If she's super hot, then yes. If you do the switcheroo in the closet in the nighttime while she's drunk, Lay. If I see you in the in the street walking and you go, Mo, can I take a picture with you? I'm Lay, the guy who called. I'm gonna punch you in the fucking heart. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Are we clear that yep, yep. if she says yes, sober to you and only you to have sex with her or have a threesome, and she says yes, sober, then uh, then by all means, have sex with her. That's great. She's hot. If you man, like, what, what do you call this? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Stephen? If not what's manipulate, but if you um, if you like con her into thinking that it's her boyfriend and oh, you go in there and you have sex with her going on don't yeah if, yeah if you deceive her in some sort of way to think that in, in that whole closet she's drunk nighttime i swear to god lay i, I always ask this from some of my listeners steve because okay. i want them to know how serious i am uh late do you like me i think so <laughs> yeah like you listen to me you think i'm smart and all that shit If I find out you fucking did the whole switcheroo shit, I'm going to kick your fucking ass, man. Oh. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to be my behind voice, yeah. laughing. Yeah, Steve and I are going to go over there and beat the shit out of you if you do it that way. All right? Oh, That's man. all I'm trying to say. Okay? I like you, buddy. I really do. Aside from this, I, I think you're awesome and I, I, I should be really funny. Appreciate. Yeah, I, re- I really think you're funny. I don't want you to do stupid shit to young girls, man. That's exactly. All. Okay? That's the That's key all. point. All right, but what an offer! What you know, like, your friend, man. What a pal, dude. I like this guy, man. I like both of you actually a lot. That's awesome, man. 
I'd like yeah, to listen to these yeah. guys' conversations, man. <laughs> no, totally, man. I wish you guys were like my brothers, my little brothers. I'd be like, yeah, look at that. High five in you, Constance. Because uh, that's great friendship, man. That is. Because man. you guys are not 25. You're 15. He knows he's not going to be dating this girl for much longer. He knows that. And that's mature of him to know that. He's got that mindset so he's like, already at 15. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah totally, man. <laughs> I would never do that, man. I would never let anybody would fuck my girlfriend. Shit, I'm gonna break up with her anyway. That's <laughs> that's that's friendship. That is to the highest level. Yeah, I love it, man. All right, hey. Yeah. Thanks for the call. You, oh, you know what to you. do, man. Thanks. Have thanks. sex with her. If she wants to have sex with you. Thank you. Right, like be smart or whatever. Best advice yeah, ever. Be smart. Yeah. Hey, use protection. Exactly. Right. Bye. Now go back to your uh, computer. All right. Bye bye. Go back to reviews. Oh, I like that guy. I like, I like that. That was a cool boys, story. Man. That's a funny story. Yeah, right? Shit, that might be color of the night for me. <laughs> uh, let's go to... Let's try Vincent here. He's been on hold for an hour. Vincent, oh. you're on line three. Then we'll take a break. Vincent? Line three? Vincent. Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Oh, yes, we can. Hi, Vincent. Hi, hello. I think my line is a bit scratchy. Is it okay? It sounds great. You sound great. Yeah, you sound great. I think this is the clearest call of the night so far. Yeah, actually, to be honest, you're, that's a good point, Steven. Thank you. Yeah, you are, in fact, the clearest call we've taken tonight. All right, let's go, buddy. It. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a question. Um, we're six years into the marriage, and I don't seem to get a lot of sex recently. Okay. Um, I'm lucky if I get get it twice a month. Ooh, yeah, that's oh. a little. That's a little low. Yeah. And and when you say recently, when when did we see when did we start to see the decline? Yeah, I knew we were going to ask that. Um, probably for the past year or so. Okay. She fatter now? You are fatter? Anything going on like that? No. We, we no. jog every day. Okay. Uh, any changes in life? New job? New uh, this, new that? Yeah, probably. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe the job is taking a toll. Uh, I don't think she likes the new job. Ah, uh, so it is a new job. Oh, man. Um, Maybe she's stressing yeah. out. Does she come home stressed? That's a good question. Yeah, I think so. But more on the side of the money, because she used to get a high-paying job, and now we moved to the government, and you know what? Government doesn't really pay that much. Okay. Are you struggling financially, though? Or it's, it's still okay? I mean, it's less pay so. for her, but you guys are still fine. I'd say yes. So. And you know, at, at this point, I would I would just reassure her how awesome she is. I mean, maybe she's got a little low self esteem because of the new job she doesn't like it. It's lower pay, higher stress. Maybe when she gets home, you you know give you her, um, give her a little back rub, you know. Yeah, Try yeah, to, like, and then the tell her how, tell her how much you love her more now than ever. Because uh, maybe there's an element of she feels down about herself because yeah, of what's going maybe on she feels life. because of the downgrade in pay she feels like she's not you know committing as much into your relationship you should give Here's her some another question um do you think it's selfish of me to think about getting back to school like um taking masters um I oh what for you yeah for me it, it, your question was is it selfish you said yeah why why would that be selfish um the other day i talked about it and we talked about it, and she said, you know, it's all about you. You, you just want to get, you, you just want to be the better person. I mean, you just want to be better than yeah, everybody. Yeah. We got a com There's some com yeah, her competition going on here. I, I think you should maybe yeah, try yeah, talking well, to her about that, that there's <clears> no, you know, competition going on. You guys are both, you know, trying to contribute to your relationship. It's not like one trying to put one up above the other. That's a very good point, man. That's well said, Stephen. And mm. and it, 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 I think that line that she that line she told you, really is a uh, a kind of line that's saying her confidence is down. Yeah. Because and you like you said, it might be part of this. It's because if I was, if I if I was struggling in my job, and then the wife starts to you know starts bettering herself, and I'm already low about me, I I get bitter and say a line like that maybe you know it's understandable and i think that's where she's at now it's about reassuring her that regardless how much you better yourself in terms of masters or having a better pay and all of that stuff just remind her that the best thing you have in your life is in fact your wife yeah she, <clears throat> she is and not two kids yeah 
That's oh, you what guys have kids. You, there you go. Well, yeah, that's what you reminded. You guys, listen, no matter what masters I take, no matter if I get a promotion, no matter how much money you make, it doesn't matter how much money I make. The best thing about my life is you guys. Don't worry about – and then these are words you tell her. Don't worry about the new jobs and stuff like that. We can always find another one. I can't find another you. There this you is the most important thing in my life, and I love you guys. And, I, and then you might see a bump in sex. You know, it, it, as, as odd as that might sound, you might see the, 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 the dividends back in the bedroom. Like, <laughs> that's where the returns are going to be. Exactly. And I mean, I think uh, another point is like, if he's going back to school to better himself, better pay mm-hmm. raise and everything, he's just going to better the whole family, you know, together. You're totally. making yourself a better you for your wife and your kids. Exactly. That's actually my ticket to getting promoted. Yeah, but you got to tell her that second. Yeah. You have to first reassure how awesome she is first. And that really is how you negotiate in everything in life. If you're going to ask something from somebody, you have to remind them also first how valuable they are. And that's why you're asking something. Now, you're not directly asking for more sex, but you have to know she doesn't feel very sexy right now because her job's shit, her pay's shit, her husband's, in her mind, selfishly going out and becoming superhuman while leaving me behind here in my crappy ass. So, of course, I'm not going to fuck this guy. You got to make her feel desirable, important, valuable, so she can start feeling a little bit more confident and sexy, and boom, you'll find the returns in the bedroom. Thank you, Mo. There it is. Right. I've been a long time listener, and I still have your the first, you know, Go Gear MP3 player from the first season. Yeah. Aww. Look at you, man. That's Thank you. Touching. Appreciate that. 251 episodes now tonight. Thanks, yeah. bud. Dang, congrats. Awesome. All right. Thanks, good man. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. it. All right. Bye bye. Oh, good stuff. That's I cool. like tonight's That's episode. Cool when people Steve, say stuff like that. Yeah, it is. I like tonight's episode. See, you got to be back, man. Maybe you're the lucky charm. That's a good. I like this All one. Right. Sounds good to me, yeah. man. Other nights they're just extraordinarily raunchy. That's what's good, man. There's, all, there's <laughs> a lot of have, heart you, involved. You got to have some balance. You got to have some balance. It can't yeah. all be about sex. Let's take a break. When we come back, still a lot more questions that are also good. It's good times about the podcast season two. Brought to you by Glow. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Ako po ay isang barbero. Ngunit ang ikukwento ko po sa inyo ay hindi kwentong barbero. Dati po kasi ay nagtatrabaho ko sa isang barberia sa bayan. Sa kasamaang palad po ay nasunog yun. Kaya nawalan ako ng trabaho. Kaya naisipan ko po na magdikit ng flyers ng globe number ko for home service. Hindi ko po akalain na makakaroon ako ng maraming customers. Dahil po sa dumami ang customers ko na taga iba't ibang lugar, eh, nakaipon po ako ng sapat para makapagpatayo na rin po ako ng sarili kong barberia. Napagpatapos ko na rin ang aking mga anak sa pag-aaral. Kumanda na rin po ang aming buhay sa ngayon. Salamat sa Globe. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, devil's waiting for you. 
Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped a compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet five-year warranty, three-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. I was dared through Boss Man to uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. like a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now say chubby bunny. I went to pull your lip. Girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Thursday night, it is Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season two, brought to you by Globe. Our guest, the gentleman, Stephen Silva. Follow him on Twitter What's at up, Mo? Stephen Silva as well. Um, Steven, you just finished up a, a show, right? I, I think um, I, I saw you. I read you on Twitter. People are watching you uh, tonight. And are you in between shows now? Anything you want to plug out there? What's going on? Oh man, Mo, right now, technically, I'm kind of unemployed. <laughs> but uh, right? yeah, we just yeah. Uh, we just finished the tapings of Indio, so I think we're on our last week. This is either our second to last week or our last week right now. So. Uh, that's what's going on. And then we finished Party P because Party P just ended a few weeks ago. That's right. But unemployed, uh, it doesn't very doesn't last very long when you're part of a network, right? It generally yeah, is, true. you know, you take a couple weeks off and then back into the next project. No, no, it's true. It's true. I mean, being part of the network, I'm a, they're always looking for uh, new shows for their artists. Like, you know, when the artist doesn't have a show, that's the time where they really try to try to get them work and try to get them back on their feet and whatever. But so right now, I'm actually I'm just kind of enjoying kind of a slow time. So. Yeah, I yeah, know. No, I know totally, something will yeah. come along. Oh, definitely. Hey, again, a couple weeks, maybe off. You, you know, take a little vacation when you come back. Boom, got another show. Yeah, generally exactly. that's how it works. Um, all right, so let's get to some of the. Oh, by the way, a quick announcement before we get to these calls. Uh, are you ready to get your game on? Chevrolet Philippines brings you the, brings you the Chevrolet Sonic, a sporty, stylish, subcompact car that has one point four liter EcoTech engine with six speed automatic transmission that provides dependable speed, power, and fuel efficiency. The Chevrolet Sonic is also equipped with high tech features such as steering wheel mounted audio controls with USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth, full audio streaming connectivity. The Sonic is available in hatchback and sedan variants. Dare to take on life's challenges head on and complement your A game with the all new Chevrolet Sonic. Visit your nearest Chevrolet dealership or log on to Chevrolet Sonic. Dot com dot ph to check out the all new 2013 Chevrolet Sonic game on phone number four seven eight seven nine five four Skype the Good Times podcast you can text us zero nine two seven three six zero zero four eight five and let's talk to Maui here <clears throat> Maui you are uh, twenty years old in Pasig on the cell phone what's going on Maui welcome to the show hey Maui uh, good evening another dude with a chick name <laughs> good evening Maui. How can we help uh, you? It's the theme. Oh, uh, I have this shit. Uh, I just want to ask, what should be the best way coming out of my closet and telling my closest friends that I'm gay? Well, are your closest friends all straight guys? 
yes. I don't know, but the I well, I don't have anyone. Well, does, in, does anyone know uh, about you being sorry. gay, Maui? I'm nervous. Oh no, it's okay. Does anyone know yeah, no about you yeah, being no gay? Does your family know? Yeah, or? does anyone know? That's true. That's a good this... question. Does anyone know your your cousins, classmates, friends? Does anybody know that you're gay? Except us. Uh, some of my high school friends, but when I got into college, I don't have someone. I don't have that guts to to tell that I'm like this. Um, no. um, well, how did you tell your high school friends? However, you told your high school friends, that's the same method you use to the college friends. But, uh, okay. Hold on one second. I'm going to put you on hold. They're obviously nervous. I want you to marinate there a little bit <laughs> while I talk to Steven. Steven, if I was a gay guy and I was terrified and uncomfortable to tell people that I'm gay, I would do the thing where I'll make them assume I'm gay. I'll invest in a fan. Uh-huh. Uh, just start fanning myself constantly. <laughs> uh, my walk. <laughs> just constantly fanning. I like the fan um, idea. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'll get a lisp going. So, so you're going like, you know? to like give them, drop them hints here and there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I'd gay it up until someone asks me if I'm gay. And I'm like, you don't know. <laughs> it's obvious. And, and then all of a sudden, it becomes a little bit more casual. So, you know, constantly fanning yourself. And then you don't have to be aggressive and say, wow, a guapo naman yan. You know, you don't have to be like, if, if you're, if you're kind of shy, but uh, just subtle, gayish, <laughs> you know, I like, that's textbook gayish mannerisms. Until they say something about it, get into fashion, start getting in, you know, start wearing certain shorts, you know, those those capris or whatever <laughs> these different new, colors. Invest yeah, a lot John of Lloyd pink. type of pants, uh, yeah, and then you know, get them to come out to you for you by having them ask you. That's if actually you're that's actually a nice technique. It's kind of like reverse reversing the yeah turning the tables yeah. on them rather than it just being yeah on putting you. it on them putting the ball in their court yeah but, but what, then again, now that was up to them. <laughs> To, 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 to go out and ask you to find yeah. out if I'm gay or not. <laughs> exactly. It's like a challenge. And if you ask me, I'm gonna say yes. And not not only will I say yes, I'm gay. I'm gonna I'm gonna ridicule you for not even asking me sooner. <laughs> I like that. Maybe we could, let's ask Mel right? if he can. Maybe he's up to just that. fan fan yourself. Hello, of course, girl. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Start using slight gay lingo around them. You know, not don't overdo it. Don't yes. go like chuva chenis or whatever the <laughs> bullshit is. But you know, just every now and then, you know, throw in a little, you know, throw a little gay lingo in. Give him yeah. a hint. Give him a little hint. Don't give it all. Uh, just give him a hint. Yeah, pai lang It's pants. Shorts, You're, pink. Get, in, get into fashion. Like, like you know, these school events, they have the fashion show, which nobody cares for. <laughs> like, ah, <laughs> like, oh, fucking fashion show. But when the fashion show part comes, like, oi, 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 fashion show. And then you start running to the front. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's a great way. Maui. Is he there? Yeah, by the way, your name's Maui. Which is such, I mean, I but just that, that alone, I, I was already assuming you're a gay guy. That's already a flag right there. Okay. That's right. So, Maui, if you're scared, uncomfortable, terrified, put the ball in their court. Okay. Gay it up a little bit. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, your voice. Be proud. Also, it, 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 you're, you're kind of le- leaning towards more dude. You know? Get a higher pitch going. Get a little extension on some of the words. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you know, it's not just thanks. 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 Get a little, get a little, yeah. Let it drag on a little bit, you know, some of the words. Yeah, try it, Maui. Try it on for size. Give us a thanks. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah let's, let's hear it. Let's, let's hear, hear let's your hear thank it. you. Sample. Let's hear thanks. Sample thanks. Time. thanks. Say thanks, Kuyamo. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Say uh, Stephen. Say say Stephen. I'll follow you on Twitter. There you go. go. Hey. Uh, Stephen. I'll follow you on Twitter. 
<laughs> I'm. Uh, you're shy. Yeah, you're you're so shy. All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Yeah, get, get get start with a fan. You'll be there in no time. Again, again. Yeah. Wait, wait. Have you blown anyone yet? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get 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 him a couple more blowjobs under your belt. That generally again, gives again. a little bit more confidence. You blow a couple more guys. That always kind of gets a little confidence going. You know. Like, like oh. before you tell your friends, it's kind of like how you know how certain guys they'll take a shot if they need to do something big. Dad, then take a shot. Go blow someone and then tell your friends. It, it, it's like that adds a little courage there. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, buddy. Just not your ten-year-old cousin. <laughs> All right, Maui. Yes, never that. Okay. All right, buddy. Rock Thanks, on. Maui. Good luck. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jeremy, you're 20. Oh, sorry, you're 35 on line two. I'm sorry, 20. Yeah. Jeremy, 35, line two in uh, Tai Tai. How can we help you? Hello, Mo, Steven. Hey, Hi, Jeremy. Jeremy. How's it going? Thanks I for being on uh, When you're in love, how can you, uh, how can you use if you're, how can you uh, compare or how can you, uh, in Tagalog na lang, uh, sabi ng mga parents, use, you, ano, pag may in love ka, Gamitin mo yung utak. Gamitin mo yung utak mo. Huwag yung puso mo. How will you recognize if you're using your heart or your intellect when you're in love? That's a, mm, that's a good that's question. That's a good one. I think it, you it's, need it's to a use basic both, question. though. Yeah, that's good. Ikaw ba, you, Mo, have you been in love using oh, yeah. your intellect Ye- or using um, your heart? How can you, you know what you do is you, what what it is. I think you start with using your intellect, then it moves to you transition to carrying the little relationship almost entirely with your heart, and then when it comes to break up, you're back to the intellectual state because it takes okay. a really deep thought of like, okay, I'm going to leave this person now. You then you've kind of left the heart behind or lessened its involvement and you start escalating the involvement of the brain and then you start going okay this is a bad situation that's why they say love is blind if, we, if we're going to throw another cliche it's because it, it, not blind but sometimes you're dumb you know in love you, you just kind of okay i'm gonna i'm gonna tolerate this i'm gonna tolerate that because you're using your heart and less of your mind so how do you know yeah. when you're using your mind or you're yeah. using your heart what was your question your intellect how do you know usually your parents well, pagka limbawa Ah, uh, marami nang breakup na nangyari sa buhay mo kasi. Yeah, kasi yung tigas ng ulo mo, gamitin mo yung utak mo, wag yung puso mo. That's like just my, the same. Like my my brother, sinabi niya gamitin mo hanggang ngayon kasal naman sila. Kasi gaya ng kapatid mo, ginamit niya yung utak niya. Oh, well, I think everybody's different though. You can't compare that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, How, yeah. Love is different every paano time. Parang yung parang yung sabing ginamit niya yung utak niya. Eh, hanggang ngayon okay sila. Di hanggang ngayon, parang niloloko lang niya, hindi siya in love sa asawa niya, parang ganun. Yeah, you know, the th- if your parents, for the lack of a better explanation, just say those things. It's old school to say yeah. that. Like, I, I, you know me, I'm not a cliche guy. I don't like when people say it because it's old school. You know, there, there's a new breed of looking at things. And I want people to look at things with an open mind, common sense, re, uh, have a realistic approach. You could be optimistic, but always know that there's a downside. You know, like have a nice balanced outlook regarding life, relationships, work, and, and, and whatever, you know. Um, we've all done it where we've thought with our heart. We followed our heart more than our minds. Shit, I've done. I've done it recently, and we all do it. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, it, 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 if you're going to just kind of dwell on what your parents tell you and sermon you, that's just them being old and, 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 and old school. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. You're 35. You know? yeah, don't let what your parents say kind of – you know, disrupt you. And then regarding your question, which is how would you know, it yeah. really just boils down to are you using common sense regarding current situations? Like, that's why this show is there. Like, this show is the is using your mind. If, if you feel like you're too much involved with your heart, call me and I'll, I'll help you use your mind. I'll tell you what it's like. I'll, t- I'll give you an unbiased approach to, to your problem because, first of all, I don't know you. Secondly, yeah. I don't care about you. Like I care about you because you you support the program, but I don't care about you. Like I don't know what's going to go in your life tomorrow, so I, I can't care about you. Okay. And then third, I'll try to be common. I'll just, I'll use try to I use common sense. Now, will I use common sense in my own life? That's a different story because it's difficult. I'm going to use a lot of my heart and my own person because we all do it. So it's not wrong 
it's yeah. normal. There's no wrong or but right. Then that's why there are venues like Friends, like us, like Steven, like myself, like you know, where we're gonna help be an avenue for you to start oh. using your mind a little bit more. Okay. That's what friends are for. Yeah. That's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You gotta have friends that check you every now and then. Because I think one thing about if you start loving persons and you only use your heart, it's probably because you're not, you're not, you know, uh, talking to other people. One thing that happens when you love someone like just only with your heart is you focus only on that person. So That's you gotta have right. other elements in your life. Oh, super true. You know super saying? true, Stephen. Okay, well, let me let me ask you, Steve. So, just so we, we'll make this guy feel, guy feel a little bit better, what's the stupidest thing you've done in terms of um, tolerating something because you were thinking with your heart more? Well, I think the one thing that popped into my mind was when my first girlfriend was actually a long distance relationship. She lived about four or five hours away, so for some reason, I thought it was going to work out. You know, like I would travel like four to five hours, and I was still in college, so um, we would. It became hard because we were always talk- we were always talking on the phone. Like you know, I never had time to study, but it was fine for me because you know I thought I loved this girl. Like you know, I thought she was going to be the one. And uh, you know, when I didn't use my common sense, you know, I didn't realize like I wasn't doing well in my classes. Uh, you know, That's I was right. spending like all this time on the phone. You know, I wasn't spending time with my friends or my family. So I think that's a perfect example of just using your heart and not really paying attention to what what else is going on. Yeah. And, and, and remember, there's nothing wrong with it, but it will take away from other things that uh, you, you can, I guess, be more productive at, which is, yes, yeah, spending time with your friends, spending time with school, you know, in school and stuff like that. It, it, it's not wrong to follow your heart because it's, it really feel, does feel good when you do. It does. But, but you need that balance. You can, you can pull off a long distance relationship if you wanted to, but make sure other parts of your life aren't suffering. You know, and, and then when you find that nice little balance, you're going to do well. Yeah, I think that's about finding that sweet spot. Exactly. Perfect. Yes? All right. You got it. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you all. Thanks, Steven. You're welcome. One more here, and then... uh, Wait, hold on one second. Let me ask the staff. Sorry, because sometimes I I lose track. Is this the last gap for calls, or we have one more? Uh, This is just the third break. So So we have one more? Yeah. Okay, why don't we take a break then? And when we come back, we'll do the last gap for your calls. And then we'll uh, wrap up tonight's episode. Don't forget, every single person who calls the show tonight wins three movies from clickplay.ph. Go check it out, clickplay.ph. It's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, just call the show, ask a question. It's yours. You Plus, you still get that chance of winning an iPad mini every single night on the program. Ooh, good stuff here. It's Good Times with Mother Podcast Season 2, brought to you by Globe with Steven Silva on the program tonight. Coming back with a last set of questions. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, maraming na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline.
Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, devil's waiting for you. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But um what's, chub, what's wait. Have you played play Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna va. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'll go and two at a time. Okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. Okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, we'll make this one a quick one and uh, wrap up tonight's episode in just a few minutes. It is Good Times Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. Our phone number is 478-7954. Skype the Good Times podcast. You can also text us 927 360 And uh, let me ask you guys something. How do you make something so small big? How can you experience, uh, how can the experience leave an amazing impression? Well, something that will last long. I know what you're thinking, man, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Globe Tattoo's CSR move for Catalyst. It's uh, it's for the good man, so let's keep it clean. I mean, you know, they're, they're doing something meaningful. They're asking the youth to present solutions to problems like air pollution and traffic. Uh, they're serious about this, so please do check it out. Uh, Globe has partnered up with uh, Globe Shapers Manila to maximize the, men- uh, the mentoring and harness the potential of young leaders. For instance, if you're 18 to 30 years old, you can submit a one-minute video that will pitch your solution for an existing community problem. So you can go to catalyst.com.ph to download the application form. And remember, there's a deadline, which is tomorrow. Remember that. So go and join the Project Catalyst. And remember, guys, we all have to part or, uh, play our part in uh, helping out in our own little ways. Because at the end of the day, potential is good, but what we do with it is what really, really matters. On the program tonight, Steven Silva. Thanks, Steven, for being here. Appreciate it very much. Think you did a good job. No, thanks for having me, Mo. Fun and, times. And, uh, yeah, make sure to f- follow Steven on Twitter. Oh, is it free food tonight? Yeah, Look at us. They're feeding okay. you well here. <laughs> Good. Uh, at Steven Silva on Twitter, and then, you know, check him out on a GMA because he... Now, you won Starstruck. How much money do you win when you when you win Starstruck? Wait, wait a second. I'm still eating. Yeah, you know, got to take your time, man. Hey, listen. All right, sorry, Mo. Uh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Uh, yeah, we got a cash prize from Starstruck. I got $1.5 million. And then, like, wow. there's a 3.5 uh, guaranteed contract that comes along with it. So it's it's like five million bucks. It's like yeah, it's like five million pesos. So and the contracts are five years. So I'll be in GMA until two thousand fifteen with the contract. Good stuff. Well, that's a, and, and yeah, man. And how old are you now? I'm twenty six. 
Hey, not a bad gig, right? I mean, 26, yeah, making a couple million bucks. Yeah, good stuff. And, and how long do you want to stay in this business? Is it something like you've given yourself uh, X amount of years and then move on or you'll be around as long as they want you around? I mean, like, is, is there, how do you feel about it? I kind of just want to stay around until, like, I feel like, you know, I can keep, like, doing stuff. Like, I don't want to just be, like, one of those, like, people that just hangs and hangs around, like, and they're not really doing anything. Like, if, if my time comes to stop, then, yeah, I think I'll stop. And then, what are you involved in? Like, what are your other interests? Or, um, you're going to go to school? Or are you, have you done with school? I, I just, you know, I want to know a little bit more about you before well, we get to some Well, the thing calls. is, I actually graduated before I came to the Philippines for Starstruck. I was in Davao City. I actually went to Davao City because I was doing my internship for uh, my culinary studies. So I actually finished that before Starstruck wow. started. So, yeah, I was working so you're out. You're a chef. In, yeah, yeah. I was working out in a hotel in Davao. I was working out at the Marco Polo. And then after the internship, um, they had an audition at SM Davao. So that's how that all started out. That's how I actually joined. So if, if this doesn't, uh, or, you know, if you have your run, your final run in, in showbiz, you'll go back to uh, the culinary arts? Yeah, probably I might either. Maybe I'll stick around here or I might head back to the States and work like in a, a restaurant or a hotel or something. And they, they never flirted with the idea. And again, forgive me for my ignorance, but they've never flirted with the idea of giving you like a cooking show? Or um, they have? Not really. I mean, like I've done guestings and stuff on shows and like every once in a while on shows, they make me like, or they ask me to like to cook something. So, but uh, so far, no, we haven't like come up with a cooking show or anything. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know if cooking shows actually do rather well. I, I've, I've guessed it on them. I don't know what it's like to be in one or if it generates any kind of high ratings or revenue and stuff like that for a network. But yeah, it's, man, all of a sudden a bunch fun, of... Though. Yeah, a bunch fun. of handsome guys who are great cooks. I mean, you, Erwan, I mean, like, it, it really is the new Wait, sports man. or the new music. You know, <laughs> a guy going out there and crushing in the kitchen. That's awesome, man. Win win. All right. Man. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice to know that. Steven Silva here on the show. All right. Let's get to a couple calls and then we're out of here. Uh, let's start with Cheech, who is uh, been on hold for quite some time. Hi, Cheech. Welcome to the show. Cheech? Did we lose Cheech? Cheech. Cheech has been on hold forever. We just tested him. Oh, he was man. fine. This show's got Cheech. some interesting names. Cheech. Yeah. Maui. <laughs> Le- Cheech hello, 23. Hello. Yeah, there you go. All right. You're 23 in Mahati. What's up? Sorry, guy's been on hold so long. He probably went out and did something else or fell asleep. Oh, man. What's up, buddy? Hey. Magandang gabi, mo. Magandang gabi, senyo. How can we help you? Gabi naman, Cheech. Ah. What's your question? Yeah. My problem is... I have, I have, I have this girl. Then she flirts with me, and she's out of my league. And my girlfriend, ako. Uh-huh. So, eh, in love, in love, ako dun sa boy, uh, sa girlfriend ko. Uh huh. Pero yung babae sobrang, sobrang eh, hot eh. <laughs> sobrang hot niya talaga kasi matindi. So, Pare, hardcore. Sobrang nalilita ako. So, weapons bra. grade. <laughs> so, so we were calling it Kanina. Weapons grade. Huh? Weapons um, of mass okay, wait a minute. Because I am sensing she's only hot on the internet. Have you met her in person? Oh, uh, schoolmate ko siya. Oh, wow. Mm. She's, you mean, whoa. Because, you know, generally, the out-of-the-league scenario happens when the guy meets this girl online, he sees he sees her on the cam frog exactly. or the Skype. It's like, oh, you're fucking crazy hot. But you mean there's a legitimate hot girl in person flirting with you? Yeah. How does she flirt with you, But we you, don't Cheech? talk that How does she flirt with you? I'm curious. Yeah, that's a good question. Yes. Next, thing, next thing you know, it's not really flirting. How does she flirt with you? Uh, through Facebook. Oh, it's Facebook. Every day, man. Oh, no. oh, what does she say? Give me some words, man. Give yeah. me some lines. What does she throw at you? <laughs> no, really? I was, I was exaggerating when I was talking about like dick talk. She really says that? Yeah, that's... I told my girl. I know her friends. And then... That's Ewan ko ba't biglang ganun kasi he's into rocker guys. And you're not a rocker guy? Nah. Eh, fortunately, I'm a rocker guy. Uh, oh, okay. okay. So you are a rocker You are a rocker Good. Guy. Great. So that's what you have going for mm. you. Okay. But you look like Tado. 
In not not much. I look <laughs> like uh Ken. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hindi ka hindi ka man super guapo no, pero 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 yeah. this girl is super hot and she wants you. Okay, so the question is you're at, are you asking for our permission to fuck this girl? No. If ikaw ako anong gagawin mo? Or Steven? Uh, I don't know. You you should tell her. I mean, does she know you have a girlfriend? Yes, and niya niya ako maghang out. Hindi ko siya niya in the first place. Sabi niya. Ah, uh, Bonding naman say, tayo. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no, we, we smoke pot and drink. You know? <laughs> oh, she wants your dick, dude. Okay, hold on. Dangerous. Oh, man, this is such a tough. <laughs> That's a okay, okay, okay. How much more hot is she than your girlfriend? Hmm. Maybe plus three. Plus so nine and six. Yes. Mm. How long have you been together with the girlfriend? Is, uh, <laughs> three years. Oh, and the thing yeah, is what? I'm super in love. Okay. Oh man, well, no, you're not super in love, man. Because if you were super nah. in love, you're you're in love. But I don't know, I'm not super in love. Because who's super in love? Guy, you don't want to talk about this because problem, right? Because perfect, na, right? So three years, na yung first time ko tui kaya kaya na patawag ako sa yung so yeah, I, wait, wait. I, want, I need to know your age again. Uh, you're 23. Okay. You know, Stephen, when you're not a handsome fellow, because I'm not a handsome fellow, but when you're so you wouldn't know this, Stephen. This is me and Cheech. We're the ones relating to this. But I'll just tell you the life of the not so handsome guy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when a hot girl wants to sleep with you, these are such rare, rare moments that you have to, can't, you can't let them go, man. You can't let them pass. You really can't. Now, the first time a hot girl wanted to sleep with me, my penis didn't work because I was so shocked that this reality was is in front of me. Like it wouldn't, I literally wouldn't get an erection because I'm like, oh, it's just impossible. Just fell on the ground. I, I, this is impossible. Yeah. Well, there must be a catch, right? I mean, there, there must be like some sort of like camera that says you're punked, right? Because this is not happening. Just you so... can't miss out these opportunities because they never come around again. But you know what? It came out. It came around again. It came around a dozen more times. There you go. So, so, so what did you do? The, the, my point here. Well, I, I slept with all, all twelve of them. But my, my, my thing is, <laughs> my thing is, Cheech. You might think that this is a one-time opportunity, because I, because I thought I certainly thought it was, but it, yeah. it, it, eventually the opportunity came around another twelve times, and I took the opportunity the other twelve times. Mm. Basically, what I'm saying is, this might feel like your only chance, but you never know something might come down the way. However, I certainly do know that the twelve chances I got with hot chicks only existed because I was successful. Because if I wasn't successful, those girls are not going to be spending five minutes with me. Yes. And I'm not saying that they're gold diggers or anything. It's, I, I didn't pay them. or I, I didn't. It's just because there's a, it, it, it's the only Alpha thing I have male. going for me that's attractive. Well, yeah, it's the only yeah, thing I have Alpha going because I'm, 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 I'm a very quiet person in, in person. I'm not the talker that I am now. I'm not a tall guy. I'm not an athletic guy. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty smart, I think, but you would never know that because I never speak with you. So I, I, I really felt in my heart, the only reason why they wanted to spend time with me is because I was successful at what I do. And that's fine. That's a quality. Okay, sure. But yeah. with you, Cheech, are you desirable for any other reason? And if you're not, I'd say break up with your girlfriend and sleep with her one time and then get back with your girlfriend. Okay, she, you can't pass up these opportunities, Stephen. Stephen, you can't pass up these opportunities, man. Once in a lifetime. She's a nine. Yeah. No, because if this girl's really that fucking hot, man, you, go, you, you, know what, you know what I like about this girl, man? This is what I ask from all of you hot girls out there. Please fucking ugly guy one time in your life. Please. Please fucking ugly guy once. You know why? You will forever be enshrined in their life as the greatest single most important thing that's ever happened to them. Do you understand the gravity behind this? Like, <laughs> if you're an eight, right? So what? You're an eight. That's fine. You're hot. Okay, fine. You're hot. If you fuck a three, 
Do you understand that you will forever be the patron saint of the f- hottest thing that's ever happened to that person? You will, f- you will be in the Hall of Fame, the of single greatest moment in their life. That would be you. Now, if you're an eight and you fuck eight guys, I mean, guys who look like eights and nines <laughs> and tens, guess what? You're just another girl that he banged. But if you're an eight or a nine and you fuck a three, Forever. an ugly kick ass panget, do you understand how important you will be for the rest of their lives? That three, when he's 55 years old, he's going to remember you. That three, when he's 85 in his deathbed, right before the doctor and the priest <laughs> gives him the sacrament of uh, healing and all of that shit, the moment he. The moment before he passes away, he's going to think of you and said, I had a piece of that ass. So, please, hot chicks, listen to me. Every now and then, (laughs) once a year, whatever, fucking ugly guy. And be forever remembered in the hearts of the greatest, like uh, amongst the greatest people that have walked the earth. Amen. Amen. (laughs) That was a speech right there. Amen. Right? Right? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Cheech. If this girl yep. is as hot as she, she, you say she is, and as much as I hate cheating, how do you pass I hate up cheating. an opportunity? Oh. Yeah, I, I, I'm there with you, buddy. That's why I yeah. said you're going to have to break up with your girlfriend you're and then bang this girl. And then, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, Steven, you're, you're, you're a better man than I am. <laughs> how say you on this? Oh, man. How old are you again, Cheech? 23. Ooh, 23. Yeah. Ooh. You still in school? No. Working. No. Oh, man. Well, even more so that you're in the working world. I don't think these opportunities come along that often. Oh, you, no truer yeah, words right? have been said? If he, if he was in school, I mean, he might have a chance. But it... What does she look like? Oh, like, man. Give me a celebrity she most resembles. Mm. But she is very sexy. Then... <laughs> give me a celebrity she most resembles. Alodja. I don't let. Oh. It made you slim. Then. Slim version. Oh. Not same, but my Alodja minus two, three. <laughs> ganun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, of course. Fucking Alodja is crazy hot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh man. man Alodja is hot, dude. <laughs> I'm in deep shit, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> He's in deep shit. <laughs> hmm. Steven. I think the fact that Your he's thoughts? I think the fact that he's calling us he's already thinking about doing it. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I think you're just He just needs that push. He's waiting for that go signal. Yeah. He he needs an endorsement from us. <laughs> I think he does. You know? That's all. So he can We're the, we're the final thing. Uh, so, Steven, he's on the edge, man. We're pushing him or we're saving him. What are we going to do? I think you you're going to get pushed, I, man. Anyway, I he's gonna... I'm not a good liar, Mo. <laughs> you're a good liar? No. Steven, no. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, sorry Steven. Exactly. Cheech. Okay, Cheech, do me a favor. Tell me this. Does your girlfriend smoke pot? Does your does your girlfriend get crazy drunk like you as well? Yeah, that's why she's my girlfriend. <laughs> so generally, you're not good people. What? <laughs> you know what I mean? Smoking pot? You guys are not good people anyway. You guys do drugs, you drink, you rock, whatever. You guys are, you guys are not good people. So go, go fuck this girl, man. Come on. Like, oh, if you called me and you said, Mo, I'm a, you know, I'm an honest kid who's, who, you know, yeah, who's lived a, who lived a, uh, never been touched, never been kissed, no drugs, no alcohol, no smoking, I give <laughs> money to the church, and I, you know, then I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is bad for your soul. <laughs> but you're a fucking rock guy with pot, and his you got, name you've is got the chonky, yeah, your name is Cheese, you have the chonky smell on you constantly, you get drunk. Man, have sex with this girl. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You're not a good guy anyway. <laughs> but there's a it, chance right? that wala yung girlfriend ko, diba? Well, don't, don't tell her. <laughs> the thing is, hindi nga ako sanay kasi it's my first time na hindi ko talaga alam gagawin ko. Kaya, well, well, we gotta I need a concrete it. answer talaga. <laughs> okay, listen. Obviously, the answer is don't do it because you have a girlfriend. Uh, again, but I have to say, however, however, these moments are so rare that I would, in fact, break up with my girlfriend for a week, bone this girl at least five times, and then come back to your girlfriend. 
Hey, that's a Lodio you're talking about. Are you <laughs> fucking nuts? He's laughing because he knows it's true. <laughs> yeah. If you're so, uh, oh, like, I feel guilty about cheating hey. on my girlfriend, and I don't like cheaters, and you don't like um, cheaters. Nobody likes cheaters, but man. Yeah, Lodio. I'm getting... So, susundin ko yung advice mo din. Eh, nasi-feel ko she's into me talaga. Kasi, hindi lang sexually lahat eh. Mahilig sa art, mahilig sa music, mahilig sa lahat ng mga gusto ko. Tapos parang, interesado talaga siya. Hindi naman ab- puro sex yung pinag-uusapan namin everyday. Tapos parang talaga medyo clingy na siya. Eh, parang hindi ako sanay ng ganun. Then, okay, so, then, then you choose. Ayun, you so, choose between siguro, the Siguro kung, then... Pag tinry ko, paano pag kumapit siya, may girlfriend na ako. Yeah, fine. Then don't, then don't yeah. sleep with her. Yeah, then don't sleep with her. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Yeah, don't sleep with day, her. You do have a girlfriend, but... Yeah. Whew. Damn. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. This is going to be your Brazilian threesome. This is going to be the the itch that it was never scratched. And, gotta, you know, it's 50 it'll be, situation, man. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a lifetime of regret, but you, you, you pick the right. If you don't sleep with her, you're the better man. So, you know, t- take solace in that. Really? Really? Yeah, it means you're a good guy. Yeah, you're in te- you have integrity and all that stuff. You're great. Do, do you if you don't sleep with her. Okay. You can't just tell her to give you one blowjob. That's it, at least. <laughs> just at least one blowjob. It's not like you know. Ang matindi mo siya talaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nga talaga ako yung talagang. Ina bakit ganon? Yeah. To which I ako nagisip na patawog na pinaga ako. Yeah. I don't know, man. It, I, I'm just telling. You, if I were you, if I was 23, and I smoked a lot of weed, and I did that. I'd probably have sex with her. That's all. You're not married. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, I'm just saying I, that's what I probably would do. It's cheating, man. I know it's cheating, but man, it's a Lodia. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. The only comes right. around Sorry, once man. in a lifetime. Yeah. But Rarely do I give the advice of this, which is follow your dick. But <laughs> might be yeah, we're fucking seniors here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is, on, this is the first time na nag-advise ka na medyo cheating ways. Yun nga eh. Ang hanap kaya nga, nag-guilty ako. Pag-iputang ina. Ako na nakikinig since. Gagawin natin eh. Unang padka. Oo nga eh. That's kaya nga. Minsan-minsan lang to. So, you know, relish it. All right. Bye-bye. No, if you were 35 and you had a wife and children and stuff, the thing is, if you were 35, you had wife, you had two kids, and then this girl was knocking, I'm going to tell you no. But you're 23 and it's right there and you're smoking weed and yeah. you got the lifestyle, you got the rock star lifestyle. Man, you got, uh, too tough, too, too, so hard, temptation too strong. All right, Cheech, bye-bye. Steven, what would you have done? I mean, like you said, the situation just kind of plays out where it's, I mean, there's nothing too much to be lost there. Unless, like you said, yeah. but he said he's super in love with his girlfriend, but then at the same time, he's calling us and he's presenting this Elodia, so <laughs> I think he's kind of thinking about doing it. He's leaning towards it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's just waiting for the go. That's he right. just wants uh, someone to say so. You know, if he gets caught, he can be like, "Hey, yeah. Mo told me. Mo and Steven told me." Yeah. That, see, so. exa- oh, ex- <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I called Mo and Steven. See, but that's why when I when I tell him to do it, I don't say it with with assertiveness. You know, I, I'm not. I kind of like mumble and I said, "Yeah, I'm too good for." I'm gu- I feel guilty, but man, it's a lodeo. What are you gonna do? Uh, oh, let's God. take one last call and we're out of here. And you're. Um, 23 as well. You're in Makati. Hi, Ann. Yeah, hi. Hello, good evening. Oh, it's a girl. Hi, Ann. Do me a favor, love. Uh, can we bump up your volume a little bit, either on our side, staff, or her, or you personally, Ann, if you could speak up, just because you sound a little bit distant. Uh, how can we help you, yeah. dear? What's your question? Well, um, right now, I just came from vacation, and um, while on vacation, I met Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. This sounds like a great question. We really can't hear you. Uh, Steven, can you hear her or, or vaguely? Barely. I can barely yeah, hear ba- her. Yeah, barely, barely hear you. Um, staff, is that us? It sounds like us. No? no? Yeah. And are you talking on a speaker I, or? Or a headset, maybe? Headset, anything like that? Oh, no, I'm, I'm speaking. I'm on the iPhone. There, oh, there, it there, sounds better. there, there you go. You that was us, staff. I heard you put their volume up. My bad. <laughs> 
yeah, you piece so of am shit. I, am I, no, Mo. Hold on one. Day. Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let this one go. Is that you, Pico? Yeah, sorry. How about God damn it. Okay. You embarrass me in front of them. I'm like, that's us, right? Yeah. And people's like, no, Mo, you idiot. Of course it's not us. I'm right here. I'm a fucking uh, t- t- tech major. What are you <laughs> Look at you. I'm going to, listen, I'm going to ruin your chances with Princess Snell, Pico. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, All right? he's got a yeah? crush on Princess. Yeah? You know, you know, you want to mess around with me like that? Megan Pityel, no chance now, forever. Oh. Okay. Pico, you listen to me, buddy? One hey, you listen to me, all right? Yeah. Not you. Sorry. The, uh, you, you're fine, man. I'm, I'm, I'm making sad on our staff here. Pico, one more time, man. One more time. I'm going to tell Princess Snell you got a small dick. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the last Don't Fuck around with me like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Pico? You're going down, buddy. All right. Uh, Anne. Yeah, I'm here. That was his fault. You were on vacation, and you met someone who was married. Continue. Yeah, that's right. And um, yeah, as a kid, and I know the wife uh, very well. I know the wife <sighs> very well. And um, it just so happened that I'm in a six year relationship. And, okay. you know, it's really confusing. I don't know what to do. You met this guy on vacation? Yeah. Now, now that's code, uh, Stephen. Met, met a guy on vacation. Okay, it, let's revert to earlier in the program, right? When our first caller of the night said uh, she saw a guy in Boracay. Oh, and what did we say, Stephen and I? Stephen and I said, when you're on vacation, especially Boracay, yes. it never is just met anyone. It's always something bad happened between the both of you. So when I hear, Anne, that you met a guy on vacation, that's code for I had sex with a guy on vacation. Yes or no? Yeah, no, but the thing is, nothing happened, you know? We just fooled around, and he said, no strings attached, and I, you know, I'm okay with that. It's just that, you know, right now, he keeps on, like, texting me, um, calling me, or whatever, and I'm like, what's up? What's up with me? Okay, 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 Uh, okay, okay, we'll address, we'll address that in, in, in 10 seconds. You're, you're, you're diluting the way I've presented what happened on the vacation. Okay, you didn't have sex with him, but did you touch his dick? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> don't, don't, don't tell me you guys were staring at each other also from across the room. You gave him a blowjob? No. No. Okay, you just gave him a hand job. Yes. All right. That's enough sex for me. Okay, that's all right. Okay, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty aggressive and sexual. Okay, that's vacation behavior. <laughs> now that we have established this, let's move on. Okay, so you're in a six-year relationship. He's married with kids. You're a friend of his wife. You gave him a hand yeah. job, and now you <laughs> yeah. want him to go away. <laughs> yeah, but he's like around. He's always around. You tell him, listen, but you tell him this verbally. You do not email it. You do not text it. You tell him either on the phone or you tell him in person. I am friends with your wife. What we did on vacation yeah. was a mistake that a lot of people do on vacation. Yes, I gave you a hand job. Not that I regret it, but we have to stick to what we said initially, which was this is one time, no strings attached. I can no longer be a part of this because if your wife finds out, she's going to be so mad at me, and I do not want that because we're friends. That's right. That's right. Your wife will kill us. You have to tell this in person because you can't text it to him. I know. It's like um, after after this thing happened, though, I'm like, I'm in a six-year relationship, and it's it doesn't feel right anymore, you know? Yeah, oh, and remind him that when your boyfriend finds out, he's going to beat the shit out of this guy. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, my God. So, so you just have to kind of be clear. Again, this is... It, it almost is related to our other calls where the guy's now thinking with his dick and not with his head. You have to remind him, your girl, your girl, your wife is my friend. My boyfriend is crazy. If he finds out, he's going to beat the shit out of you. If my, your wife finds out, we're going to have a problem. It's going to be chaos. Just please be happy that, in fact, I gave you a hand job 
and we were on vacation, and that's what vacations are for, for hand jobs, <laughs> blow jobs, and of that sort, and you don't take them home. Okay. Yeah, enjoy that's what happens. Love. Yeah, that's but love, it's true. But yeah, okay, get it. <laughs> okay, now, Anne, one more thing. Please break up with your boyfriend immediately. Come again? Please break up with your boyfriend immediately. Why? Because you've been together six years. That means you were together when you were fucking 16 years old. It's time to break up. This is exactly what I talk about every night on the show. Somebody called yesterday and say, oh, Mo, you always tell them to break up. That's because you're already giving hand jobs to other guys. You were together when you were a mid-teenager. It's time to break up already. So you can blow, bone, or hand job all the guys that you want from now on. Stop doing it Actually, already. That, that sounds really good. You know, um, I really have to consider a few stuff, but, you know, I can make it work. <laughs> if most and so, you know? There you go. You got the Yeah, you got to break up with this guy, man. I'm, I'm telling you. It's, it's not, it's, I'm not, I'm not telling you to break up because you cheated on him, which you did. I'm breaking up because I want you to be guilt free when you put your hand on all the dicks in Manila. I know. Think about all the dicks <laughs> yeah, out there, you know? <laughs> yeah. Perfectly fine penises that are not married, that are not friends with, you, you know, you're not friends with their wife and all that. Come on now. Don't have kids. I know. Yeah. Why did uh, we wait a minute. Where was married, the wife? Right? Where, where was the wife when you were hand jobbing this guy? Um, she was back home. Um, both of us were on vacation. On, I um, mean, we lived in the same house, so it was convenient. <laughs> <laughs> where was your? Was it a bigger dick? Time? Yeah, was it a bigger dick than your boyfriend's? No. No. Womp, womp, womp. No. <sighs> Tell him that, he'll go away. If he, if he still sticks around, just say, listen, I gave you a hand job, but you have to know my boyfriend's got a bigger dick, and I just prefer it more. He'll go away, out of shame. Okay. Okay. All right. I like it. Right. I like it. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, that, that, that's a last resort. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Uh, you too, love. Godspeed. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> she was cooperative. Steven, this is our world, man. This is our world. This is our peers. This is our people. When you take all the questions that we've taken tonight, right? And you kind of just let it, let it sit there in your head and marinate and stuff like that. It doesn't seem like we have many problems, right? Uh, these, talking to these people makes my life seem so much uh, simpler. <laughs> Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not I mean anytime you problems. ever kind of like, you know me, like, I don't know if you know what I get involved in, but I mean, I've been in a few couple scandals in my life, right? Oh, yeah. And I think about it, my mind are nothing compared to some of these people out there. So if I ever get those days where my head is getting big and I'm like, oh, my God, look at me. I, I mean, I mean, people are so involved in my life because my scandals. I look at these people and I'm like, wait a minute. That's the, the only difference between me and some of these calls. These calls have re these real live problems without, without a camera on them and stuff like that. And their exactly. problems are far greater than mine. Now, who am I to think, oh, my God, my world is ending? Someone's always got it worse, man. Yeah, Something man. And we, we, we met at least four people today that have it worse than me. Oh, they're, they're yeah. my, and seven of them might have it worse than you. I mean, me, your, your life seems to be better than mine. But you get <laughs> well, what the I mean? The one that like, stuck out of my mind is the cousin, the whole cousin situation exactly. that, that was a rough one that's really a rough one and then one. there's there's the why there's the guy with the kid who's got you know yeah. we just found out but the wife can't have children and she said if i ever find out you i mean man, boy, those are legitimate problems i mean wow i love my life oh, i love it love our existence <laughs> the only guy worse off than any of these people is our staff member pico there who fucked up the full oh thing. yeah but aside from that he's so these are pretty good yeah Princess Snell. I'm going to ruin you. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. When we come back, caller of the night, uh, we're going to pick who Stephen thought was his favorite call. We're going to award that person with some prizes, and we'll say goodbye to Stephen tonight. Stephen Silva oh. on Twitter. Follow him, please. He's a good, good gentleman. Let's take a break and wrap it up after this. Don't go away. It's Good Times to Know the Podcast Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Ako po ay isang barbero. Ngunit ang ikukwento ko po sa inyo ay hindi kwentong barbero. Dati po kasi ay nagtatrabaho ko sa isang barberia sa bayan. Sa kasamaang palad po ay nasunog yun. 
kaya nawala na ako ng trabaho. Kaya naisipan ko po na magdikit ng flyers ng globe number ko for home service. Hindi ko po akalay na makakaroon ako ng maraming customers. Dahil po sa dumami ang customers ko na taga iba't ibang lugar, eh, nakaipon po ako ng sapat para makapagpatayo na rin po ako ng sarili kong barberya. Napagpatapos ko na rin ang aking mga anak sa pag-aaral. Kumanda na rin po ang aming buhay sa ngayon. Salamat sa Globe. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, and stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, tables waiting for you. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. I was dared through Boss Man to uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. like a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I went to pull your lip. with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Time to wrap it up here on this Thursday night. I want to thank our guest who has been just such a good guy. Steven Silva on Twitter. Do follow him. You have Instagram and all that stuff that... Uh people get involved in yeah, yeah you I'm big throwback Thursday today I have been check me out on Instagram just flip it around it's Silva Steven because some guys use somebody Steven Silva. It. yeah he doesn't want to give it up either I asked him to oh, oh you, you did ask him yeah I swear oh that's cool no it's funny because the guy he told me he's like hey can you tell your fans to stop tagging me on your pictures and I was like hey you want to switch screen names and he's like no but is his name really Steven Silva yeah he's, he's oh, okay. Steven Silva I was like come on do me a favor we'll, you know we'll scratch each other's right. back here and he's like nah he wasn't having it. So I was like, well, you're going to have to live with it then. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to live with. Tough luck, man. 
Don't yeah. Oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, we, we, because obviously mine is a very, your name is very uh, common. Mine is a little bit more, more unique. So um, it's easier for me to get the uh, the email address I want and, and all of these things yeah, because, yeah. No yeah We've got to add like it numbers sounds like, and weird shit on yeah. that. So it's, oh, <laughs> underscores and all these yeah. fucking crazy things. All right, but at least you got the Twitter one. That's important. Steven, yes. Silva on Twitter, and then Silva Steven on Instagram if you can. All right, uh, buddy, it is time to choose caller of the night. Who do you – now, we've had some really good ones uh, We did. We tonight. had some like, juicy ones. We started yeah, off strong. It, it, it's, it, we did, and it's tough because we can go with the funny call. We can go with the raunchy call. We can go with the heartfelt call, the ow, the ow of call. I mean, we had a nice range as well. So which one are you going to go with? And this is all, you know, this is any one you want. Okay, the one that stuck out in my mind was probably the guy with the best friend, which I think was Lay. Yeah, the 15-year-old who yes. said a best friend wanted him to fuck his girlfriend because they were pals and he wanted to do him a solid that 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 was a great exactly. call. That was funny. I thought it yeah, was yeah, cool. it was funny and it was hard. <laughs> it, it just was... it just reminds me of my best friend and like you know best friends will do like the craziest shit for each other. So I thought that That's was totally... cool. <laughs> they were gonna it's like switch at the coolest level. <laughs> and funny like how they debated. Wait a minute, your dick is not as big as my dick, so she's gonna figure out it's yeah. But there's there's a lot of things that she'll figure out. Like when she no. says I love you, she expects you to say I love you by oh, 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 oh. all of a sudden it's a different voice or different haircut, different smell, different weight. Too, I mean, when you when you when you found out their plan, it's like you know I don't think you guys are gonna like you know get her drunk and do this. He's like actually right. yeah yeah that's what we're yeah gonna do. yeah yeah that's what we're gonna do. It's like what a weirdo. Lay, you're back on the show. Congratulations, man. Caller of the night. Yeah, hello. Thank you. What's up, Lake? Yeah, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Oh, man. Especially when you're 15, you think it's a great idea, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. We, you know, she's lying down there. The lights are off. You know, so what? You just come right in. And she won't even know the difference. Like, are you kidding me? Unless you guys are twins, she's going to know the difference. Yeah. But man. that's funny anyway. All I know is you yeah. got you to gotta get your friend back one of these days and let him sleep with your girlfriend. Yeah, so yeah, you'd have to pay him you back. Or if you win it. like the iPad tonight, you're gonna totally have to give it to him for for this. All right, <laughs> no. buddy, congratulations. Yeah, oh yeah, she's not that hot. Yeah. Um, but congratulations, you are a uh, caller of the night. Uh, you have a chance of winning an iPad Mini, but there are other prizes there. Uh, actually, technically, you only have a 33 percent chance because it's one in three. But you know, people pe- people win it regularly. And uh, we we make it available for you guys every single night here on the podcast. So one, two, or three, my friend. What number do you want? Um, and hopefully it's there. Two. Two. Ooh. I don't think it's in two, it's two. Today, to be honest. Yeah. We'll have uh, right. Steven here open it up for you. We have a box number two. Let's see here. You have one. Javianas. Javianas. Oh, all right. Thank you, Javianas, for sponsor. Congratulations, man. Plus, Congratulations. Thank you. Free movies though, also from Quick Play, uh, Quick Play, Quick Play, and dot um, ph. So yeah, he didn't come all around empty-handed. Plus, if you ever end up sleeping with uh, this guy's uh, girlfriend, then oh. good, good times because she's super hot. All right, buddy, congratulations. Thanks for the call, and uh, we hope to meet you guys, uh, you and your best friend soon. Thanks, Lay. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, the iPad was in all right. Three. Bye, bye, buddy. Should have picked three. iPad was a number three. Yeah, no. here it is. Right yeah, here. it's it's it really is always three guys. Always it's three. <laughs> it's always. Th- um, Stephen, thanks again for being here, man. A million times over. Oh, I appreciate thanks, it. You were great, and I hope to uh, maybe have you back again. You I know, had a great time maybe when you come back. Yeah, hit me up when I get back. Definitely. Maybe totally. I'll see you. All right. <laughs> well, even better. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for uh, downloading this episode and for listening and for calling in. Thank you to the staff, the people in the chat room, guys on Twitter that promoted constantly. You guys are all so darn amazing. We'll see you tomorrow on the podcast, same time. And Steven, again, have a good night. Oh, by the way, I want to thank uh, Granny's Burgers, uh, 324 LPI Center, Captain Henry Javier, Orando, Pasig City. You can uh, call them at 576-3998. You can catch them through Quick Delivery, 2121-2122. Follow them on Twitter. Like them on Facebook at Granny's these burgers want to thank clickplay.ph as well for making these movies available to every single person that calls the show that's fantastic globe god where would be without globe thank you globe for making this uh podcast 200 now 251 episodes strong now taking a break uh for about 22 hours we'll see you guys tomorrow same time same situation bye bye steven thanks man thanks mo see ya
Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.